Hello, everybody. Welcome to another beautiful, glorious day of Cusa Grande. Yeah, we have four people going to battle, going to war. Oh my gosh, there may be some fatalities here, but yeah, battling each other in Normie's Beach Babe O Rama. That's what. Yeah, all those babes. Okay, watch out because Normie is gonna grab them. If you have any babes that you particularly do not want Normie to get, then, yeah, I, w I would say protect them. Protect them at all costs, okay? Oh, speaking of Normie, by the way, we have a Normie bass guitar Bill who chose this game. He's going to be joining in uh, uh, commentary, I believe. That's going to be beautiful. By the way, we do have another game announced well, decided, I'm going to go ahead and let them uh, enjoy the madness that they're going to have after the first match. I'll announce it later. But yes, we have two matches coming up tonight. Hey, Bruce, aren't you? Whoa, how you doing? Doing fine. How you been? Pretty darn good. Oh my gosh, I'm ready for some Normie. Normie's Beach babe Orama. I think this game is well known... Uh, to anyone, I think about two years ago, there was a channel that used to stream just a compilation of videos from tasvideos.org. Huh. I think the channel was called Tas Videos, and there was a bot that controlled it, and like people in the chat could vote on which of these three tasses do you want to see next, and would play the video, and it would do that forever. The channel's defunct, um, but one ultimately popular pick that got chosen just about every time it was offered was Normie's Beach Babe Orama. Oh, Which, baby. It's so, like, it's a title that you won't forget. You don't easily forget a game called Normie's Beach Babe Orama. Oh, it's I a never whole, could. It's a whole thing. Um, the task, obviously, is nothing like normal gameplay. Um, it can be a very fast-paced game if you sort of know what you're doing. Uh, and if you don't know what you're doing, it becomes a game where you try to go fast and end up dying. Oh, yay, death. Everybody loves death. Uh, sure. Yeah, normies can definitely be a, a little bit difficult, and I think we're going to see plenty of those deaths play out today. Absolutely. Have you tried the game yourself? Uh, I feel like I've played a tiny bit of it, mm -hmm. but not a whole lot. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for this. <laughs> uh, Unusual Cook asked me if he could be a guest commentator this time around. Uh, considering I don't know too much about the game, I beat the first boss of it, and I said, oh, yep, this game is bad enough, we need this. Um, so I think Unusual Cook will also be joining us uh, to provide that more is... cogent commentary than I can provide. That's completely fine, and I see Unusual Cook hopping in right now. Hello! going Howdy. great. I'm going to have to turn your... Actually, I have your audio almost turned up all the way. You may need to boost your end, right. Mr. Cook. Let's see. I'm working on capturing everybody as well right now, so that yeah, we... I have my output volume to max on my, uh, my... Really? You're... You're not super loud, is what I'm gonna say from, from where I'm sitting. Yeah. Oh, Mendezi, thank you for subbing. Yeah. Uh, it's good. We have a way to go until we get the next demo, but that's completely fine. Yeah, I, I, don't, know, I don't use Discord voice much, but I'm, I'm looking at it and, yeah, I don't know what more I can, I can do. Strange. control, should I have that on? Me? Discord audio is highly idiosyncratic. It's hard to know what's going to fix a problem. Yeah. Well, it sometimes is a but. Yeah, I don't know, because I have everything on map. And usually, like on Mumble and everything, I'm fine, so... I guess I'd have to go directly on my own microphone settings then and try changing things real quick. That sounds a little bit better. I'm not sure if you did anything, but... Yeah, it sounds like you're a little bit louder than you were. I think this will be fine if you 
uh, keep the same distance from the mic and don't move from yeah, like, what you like, were I have the mic pretty close to me now. Okay. I just turned off like uh, automatic game control. I think that uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that'll probably do it. Okay, I'll go ahead and make sure that audio is balanced on my end so that, yeah, uh, so that everybody can hear your sultry voice there. <laughs> yeah, uh, probably switch to push to talk. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds so unusual, Cook, what's your, what's your experience with this game? Okay. Nice. Very good. So you're the you're the one to come to with the uh, questions about this game. Yeah, he's got the normie knowledge. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a quick answer in case anyone's wondering. This game's not that good. <laughs> that's that's oh, why I chose it's, it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everybody it's, will love it. It's incredibly fast. Yeah, I think you may need to bring the mic up a little bit again just you're getting quiet all right um i'm gonna try quick going to my control settings and editing some stuff okay i just hopefully won't blast your views we'll, uh we'll i'm gonna know. turn you down just in case like to 100 instead of 200 percent just just for the sake of protecting our viewers ears Okay, let not, me turn you back. Not markedly on. Oh. For okay. me it's not markedly improved. But Go maybe ahead, Brooks. Alright. I'm just adjusting I'm increasing my levels now. Okay. Like, all the way up to ninety now. That was it. Like I'm boosting it on my own side, so I don't know why. That sounds alright. Right now you're at a good volume, I think. And how about now? Is that too loud? No, that's not. That sounds pretty Fine good. Fine for me. Alright. Yeah, so I think it bases it off what you have said on your original microphone, then amplifies it from there, where I think Mumble just has its own sound system that you can adjust it right on there. You I don't may know. be right. I'm not too familiar with Mumble, but hey, if it's working now, it's working now. Good, good. So right, yeah, thanks. Unusual Cook is the world-renowned Normie's Peach Babe Rama runner here. And he's going to be uh, dropping some hot facts and hopefully telling us about <laughs> some hot babes. Yeah, I, that's where it was going. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so none of the runners from here on out will be able to listen in on us, right? So I can talk about the game a little more, or should I wait until it starts? Let's go ahead and wait until it starts. I think we might still have starts. the stream on. Mouse, right. thank you for the sub. Oh my gosh, yeah, we, we still have a little while to set up. Uh, it looks like three out of four of the streamers are live. Zimmy, I'm just waiting for Zimmy. My dear Zimmy. Yeah, Zimmy was uh, streaming earlier. So they should, maybe they're just taking a small break and then they'll be back on. Well, I can't blame uh them. Oh, it looks like they're going live, live right around now. Yeah. Uh, I need it. I should probably get a Cadgar or whatever of these uh, runners. Let me uh, let me shoot you the speedrun.tv link. Oh, Thank nice. Speedrun.tv. Wow. I don't know if it's better than Cadgar or worse. I just know that people have really strong opinions sometimes about which uh, which multi twitch he is. Well, no, I actually like having stuff that is focused around the community so yeah yeah it's cool it's easy to remember it's like speedrun.com except instead of a com it's a tv oh speedrun.tv it's so convenient yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i'm oh losing it today okay right. it's like well, the we're, end we haven't of the, started the first match bro Sanji. you better hold on to your shorts or whatever it's like it's not gonna help Okay, There's a lot shorts. of Cuso Grande left Hold on to your swimming trunks. I'm gonna hold on to my babes. Beach action to go. Hold on to the babes, okay? 
they specifically put Normie on the opposite side of the screen from the babes on this on the title. Yep. Separated no, by a mean looking is that a hammer? As your cursor? It's, or is a that, it's just a bomb. finger. It's a, like a bomb on a yo yo. Oh yeah, the cursor there. Yeah. Oh, Normie has. Bomb on a yo yo. I don't recall seeing that in the game, but maybe I just did not get far enough. Uh, it's, I don't believe it. <laughs> it might not be in there. Is it uncentered? <laughs> Is the title of the game not, is it like, it's left aligned, yeah. right? Yeah, they forgot to click center in Microsoft Word, and now it's just left aligned. That's good. Oh, well, It's an electronic arts game, um, which, interestingly, by the way, before we start, Genesis electronic arts games all have that, like, weird yellow, like, cartridge spot on them. Oh, yeah. Because they're not efficiently licensed cartridges from Sega. They reverse engineer the cartridge technology so they can make their own cartridges so they didn't have to pay Sega the licensing fee. Nice. So Electronic Arts was the wisdom tree of the Sega Genesis. Holy moly. I, I don't know if I explained that perfectly yet. Yeah, okay, they made a deal. All right, I wasn't sure if they... I wasn't sure. I know they did something funky with their cartridges and I thought it was to get around paying money or something. Mm. Or if they just held them hostage, like Sega hostage. Was yeah, it was it deal, Mike Uama, not to release it? Yeah, like they they promised not to release the technology to to uh, reverse engineer it. I mean, you're probably right. Let me see. Inter here. Interesting. Give me a second. Yeah, Mike, Mike seems to know the history here. But and... they all have like I have the cartridge sitting in my Genesis right now, and it has that weird like yellow tab on the side of it. We have to look this up. Okay, I think. Let me know, chat, if the audio sounds good to you. Cadis, it's been 14 months. 14 months of this stuff, yeah. I also have 14 months, but ch uh, Twitch chat twice refused to uh, let me share it, so just pretend that I shared it. I guess. Aww. Okay, and I'll catch this... you again. I'll catch you again on 15 months. Okay. Yeah. It's it's been shared with me. Okay, deep Great. into my heart. <laughs> Good. That's where it belongs. I have never seen this yellow tabbed Genesis uh, cartridge. This is wild. There's so much I don't know about this console. Which okay. is why I'm making. Which is why I'm making four suckers. Uh, any, play a game on it. Any of the runners, be sure to pause slash mute my stream because we will be doing the countdown in just one second, waiting for Zimmy to uh, confirm. Our dear Zimmy, well, the, you can do it. Thing, the thing is, like, the Genesis is just relatively underused, I guess, underrun compared to other consoles. Mm hmm. Like NES and SNES, of course, are have so much more runs than anything on the Genesis or uh, Mega or SMS. I mean, it's definitely a console that could use more love in this community. But it looks like all four of our runners are ready to go. So uh, perfect. Setting the countdown pretty soon. I am doing the countdown right now. Wish them the best of luck. We have an hour of Normies Beach Babelrama. Okay, so uh, get ready for all these babes because there are a few of them. I, I, I'm not sure the number of babes that we're going to have here, but we're going to have some. I saw one babe when I completed um, the level I completed. Oh, nice. I freed a babe named Moon Unit. Yep, goddess of waves. So as you can see on Zembar's screen, they're kind of dashing along. There's a dash button in this game, which sends Normie moving at just an unbelievable speed uh, directly into the water. And if you notice on the bottom left, there's a gauge that uh, fills up. That's your dash meter. Okay. So the longer you run on the ground, the more that fills up. And when that fills up all the way, it uh, you cannot use your dash anymore for a little bit. Your dash also damages enemies slightly, but usually you'll take a hit too by running into them. Yeah, what it looks like is this is a game where you want, like, when you're playing, you feel like you want to go fast, but you probably don't actually on a blind playthrough, okay? Avoid going fast because you'll die a lot. It is incredibly easy to die on this game. As it, you can see, so, we've already got a game so over easy. from Zembar. There's a lot of instant deaths, like in terms of uh, 
either spikes or uh, water, you know, some hazard like that. You take a lot of damage from enemies and you don't have that much health either. And your health does not regenerate between levels. So even if you beat like a certain stage or area, you'll still continue with low health afterwards. Well, we already did have one game over and yes, it was less than a minute. I, uh, I've counted four game overs so far. This is like really going much better than I could have possibly expected. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it, it, it's going to be a challenge, okay, for any of these players to make any significant progress here. Um, yeah, you, I, I figured the good strategy if you're playing this game is to go slow, learn the levels, and then when you come back to them after your inevitable game over, um, then try to go through them more quickly. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, we've got Zimmy on uh, the first puzzle of the game. They freed a little weird-looking dinosaur. Um, they have to bring it to its mama. If you don't free the dinosaur from its egg, the mama won't let you pass. It's not much of a puzzle. I'll, I'll be the first to oh, And the one hint is just saying, get a clue. Get uh, a clue. Plane get flying a clue. by. That's it. <laughs> Simi solves the puzzle and jumps immediately into the river. Nice. That's, uh, <laughs> that's this game. That's the physics in this game. I really hope they get to more than the first level. I think they will. I can see them getting probably at least level three, perhaps. But, like most uh, Genesis games, there's limited continues. I believe three continues, and that's it. I didn't count. It's between three and five. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty limited number of running out of your lives. Uh, you, get, you have to go back to the, I guess, the stage you start on, or the screen you start on. You don't get to keep your mid-level continue. Um, and then once you run out of those continues, you're back to the title screen uh, forever. Gotcha. Or, uh, you have to start the game again, rather. Yeah, it's a little... um, but yeah, I, I think we'll see the first boss beaten. I think there are four or five initial stages, and uh, the boss who is not... Uh, this, the non-copyright infringing boss uh, is at the end of that one. So apparently I'm pretty far behind with people's streams, so I'll go ahead and refresh them. I'm not sure why. Zenbar, I think I'm pretty caught up on, but other people's runs... I don't know. <clears throat> like, welcome to... <clears throat> Oh, just give him, a, give him a quick refresh and you'll be as good to go as it's possible for you to be. Hopefully, I, hopefully. I think Zimmy's in the lead right now. It's hard to tell because there's been just so many game overs. Yeah, there have been he's slightly ahead, but he's still on the, we're all still on the first screen of the game. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would put Zimmy at the start because no one else has gotten to this rolling rock sort of staircase or this, uh, this exploding rock bonanza uh -oh. that Zimmy's sort of putting on. Also, uh, for those unaware, this game is based off a comic strip from the... the it's still going, I believe, or at least he updates it once in a while, called uh, Making It. It's from... it's been running forever, I believe. It was in is, some newspapers, but those are running out of style, too. <laughs> is Normie the protagonist of this comic, or just like some supporting character? I think he's a side character. Mm. He, seems, he looks like a side character. <laughs> yeah! All right, that's the first screen done. Good for uh, Zimmy. There's... Nice. Yeah, Zimmy. Okay, let's see how far behind I am on that. Oh, just like 10 seconds or so. Okay. I wonder. Sorry, everybody. Welcome to... I'm just doing this. I don't think we actually have quality options. That's okay. Zimbar currently trying to fight a mammoth... Pretty spooky mammoth, dude. What are, what are these, like, white rhinoceros hippo pig things? I don't know what oh, they are. They're, oh, they're pigs. There's pigs in every level, and they're okay. all based on the on the level that you're in. They're, they're different styles. Like, uh, one of the later levels, uh, spoilers, I don't think they'll make it, is in space, and they're space pigs. Space you pigs? Jump on. Are the pigs supposed to have white bodies, or is that a graphical glitch? Because it kind of looks like a graphical glitch. It, they're supposed to have white bodies. Oh, okay. Like, pretty much have the same body, they change the head around. Sure. Depending on the level. That's Zimbar, nice. that is another game over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zimmy is definitely in the lead. Chaos is starting to catch up a little bit, though. Ooh. Yeah, so they, they both made to screen, too. Yeah, you do have uh, health. Luckily, it's a little bit kinder than Bubsy... Uh, one in that case. You actually have a health bar. Mm -hmm. 
But oh, as so you can see on Zimmy's screen, the knockback is such that it doesn't matter how much health you have, you're falling into a oil pit. Yeah, yeah there's extreme knockback. It's even worse if you're dashing and hit a wall. You seriously fly back the entire, almost an entire screen's worth, like, from what you see. Other interesting things about this game is that the bottom of the screen is a death plane no matter where you are. So, if you're, um, riding an elevator and hold up, it adjusts the screen, and you will die just from standing still on an elevator. Oh my gosh. That's good. That makes sense. That's fun. <laughs> In the speedrun, you can use it for a few skips, but I don't think they'll be doing anything here. You might accidentally clip through the level and die, which happens a lot, even in speedruns of this game. If you dash too fast and hit certain corners, you'll clip through them and just fall to your death. Yeah, the, the wall detection or the wall hitboxes or some part of the collision physics is... It's not great. Sometimes you'll see uh, uh, runners level wall on their right and they'll be trying to jump and you just can't. If you're pressed right up against the wall to your right, then Normie will bounce instead of doing an... Or he'll like... It'll make the crashing noise instead of him being able to jump. It's... It's very frustrating. Gotcha. Uh, so Chaos is at a part where he's got to actually use the slide maneuver, which, uh... It's very, very slow, so I assume it doesn't get a lot of use in the speed run. Uh, can you comment, Cook? No, you only want to use it to, uh... to get underneath objects that you can't skip around. Mm -hmm. Slide under. Oh, he saw the one-up, and he's going for the one-up on top off the pig, which is nice. always smart. You want you want many lives in this game. Yeah, they, they go quick. You do get extra lives for points, but it's a decent amount of points, and it's hard to uh, figure out. Like, I can't remember how many points you need, but I don't think they'll be getting too many extra lives based off points. Also, right there, you need to collect car keys to ride the dinosaur across the tar pit. You can't make it with a jump, so if you don't get those car keys, you, it won't let you on. That's will it make you fall? Will it make you fall into the tar pit or? Uh, uh, no, I think it. Not it I can't remember if it bounces you back off or not. Okay. It's been a while. This hmm. game's pretty cool. It makes so a very, very over. loud sound though. <laughs> like uh, it makes a car alarm sound. It's stuff. really annoying. I gotta try that next time I'm playing this. So it looks like we've got uh, Zembar up to that uh, that rolling rock slope. So they're still on uh, stage one. More spiders just made it to. Uh, or screen, t screen one, I should say. More spiders just made it to uh, screen two for, yep. I think, the first time. Yep, um, that's think, what it looks like. I think Chaos is pretty close to finishing screen two. Uh, I think we've definitely got a lead change Why at this point. Why are there so many dominoes in prehistoric land? I think the joke is that Stonehenge kind of looks like dominoes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I see my laughter that this joke deserved. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's not great. Yeah, you're also in 65 million BC. Oh, sorry, 65 million 47 BC. Oh, that's okay. It, in uh, you know New Jersey. In New, is, Jersey. This is New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey. This looks like New Jersey. Okay. Hey. And so, um, <laughs> I can't remember the name of the boss off the top of my head. Of this level has kidnapped uh, Moon Unit, Goddess of Waves, in order. Uh, to, I think, get good ways for surfing on his ancient surfboard. Oh, good. The plot of this game, I think, is that, like, a beach gets paved over and turned into a garbage dump. Or, no, uh, aliens, aliens show up and steal all the yeah. beach babes. Aliens yep, show up and steal the beach babes and turn the beach into a toxic waste dump. But then Normie finds some time-traveling suntan lotion uh, okay. and uses that to save the beach babes. Yep. By he, rubbing it puts... on his body and eating it. The yep. suntan lotion. Nice. Is, he he understands the normie lore. It's, <laughs> it's complicated. It's really complicated. Very deep. The novelization really explains a lot of things uh, that aren't very clear in the game. The, the, the comic, you mean? <laughs> oh yeah, there is a comic. That's right, I forgot. There is actually Okay, on um, this, yeah, this screen that... Um, Chaos is on right now is really annoying with the moving platforms. It's easy to fall off, and that's good. Onto the fourth screen of uh, BCs, Chaos. Nice. Yeah, chaos I didn't know about that secret one up. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yep, it can carry you there. Also, you lose your weapons on every screen transition, so you have to find new weapons in each spot. Wait, are you serious? Which, uh, chaos did. 
Yep. Dumb. You don't keep weapons between. Oh, okay, what's really annoying in this game, because it's a Genesis game, it's a three-button controller layout, and they're all horizontal, A, B, and C. A is dash, B is jump, C is attack. Oh. So, yeah. Okay. It's really annoying to yeah, try to do gross. multiple button presses, or even to, like, jump and attack, because... All the attacks have delays on it. Like if you use a claw grip, you might. You'd be have able to, to play claw style, yeah. That's what it seems like. I play it flat and just flick my thumb when I speed run it. Wow. It get that I don't do that many attempts because it gets it starts to hurt after a while. Sure, yeah. I just break my thumb whenever I speed run this game, and then you know, gotta <laughs> no, heal up no, for a little while. It's no F zero at least. Oh wow, <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. But oh. But it is, it's like Quake, though, really, when you get to it, because there's bunny hopping in this game. When okay. you dash, the meter fills up as long as it fills up when you're running on the ground, but you keep your momentum in the air. So if you dash and jump and continue to jump, he'll keep the speed of his uh, dash without filling up the meter. Okay. I don't think they're going to use this at all in a casual playthrough. <laughs> well, probably not. Uh, so Chaos was, is on a section of the game that was giving me a bit of trouble uh, when I was trying to do my playthrough of this part. You kind of have to dash back and forth between these various uh, caveman apartment buildings. Uh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to fall into the pit, but you kind of have to jump on one set of buildings, then jump to the right on a higher level, then jump to the left on a higher level on that one, back and forth and back and forth. Okay. Uh, and if you bounce into a wall, then you'll probably bounce into a pit, or there will be a bunch of cavemen there. So... Uh, close jerks. We'll see, how, we'll see how chaos does. So, is, is Normie a time traveler? Like, yeah, this is 65 million BC. Well, yeah, but comic. like, did he just accidentally show up here, or very purposefully going to find this goddess? I, I imagine it's on purpose. It must be like quantum leap then, at some point. Quantum leap. <laughs> quantum normies. Quantum normies. <laughs> Well, I like it. Yeah, I'm not sure it was a conscious choice to come to prehistoric New Jersey. Scenic prehistoric New Jersey. Um, but that's where the lotion brought him. As you can see, Cass having a lot of fun getting stuck in the pit and just bouncing back and forth, bouncing into the caveman, getting hit repeatedly, and then dying. The game is very unforgiving. Uh, now Zembar is on that part that uh, Unusual Cook was talking about, where the where you just kind of have to wait for these platforms. Uh, and Zembar seems to make a pass with uh, in very little trouble. So now Zembar and Chaos are on the same level, level four. Oh my uh, god! Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty mm -hmm. significant progress. I'm just taking a look at a review here, by the way. And there's just one quote that stands out to me. It says, if they were going to rip off a game, why did it have to be Bubsy, of all things? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That's I would so say true. that this game is somewhat better than Bubsy. Not much. Yeah, you can see where you're going if you take it slow, at least. In this game. And you have, a, you have a little bit of health to play with. You don't just die instantly whenever you touch a gumball machine or whatever. I don't know if there's even any would gum useful, in 65 million BC. What would be useful for uh, the, cat, the people playing to figure out is that your dash also attacks enemies. So if there's multiple enemies in a row, you can run dash into them. Oh, did he just softlock himself? Is Zimmy stuck? I think Zimmy might be stuck. Oh no. I have not had that happen to me. That is, uh... That's not good. <laughs> At least it's only the first level. Yeah, exactly. Second screen, it's... He's not very far into the game. Let's see, I, I think I'm starting to get caught up to the stuck oh, he, part here. He's out, he's out. It's, it's good. Okay. Oh, nice. I want to see it at least. Uh, by the way, I do want people to know. Oh my gosh, that that's amazing. Where Zimmy was. <laughs> I want people to know that we have another game coming up after this, and I'm 
able to announce it. It's Bubsy 3D. No. No. Yeah, I've we seen that. <laughs> then you have a game to announce. I'm waiting for the game to be announced. <laughs> we have an experience right to announce. The next one is Bubsy 3D. Yeah, for PS1. We're gonna have fun with that. Uh, and it's Koal's fault, so... <laughs> Yeah, that's it, so that's so cruel, but you know, yes, yeah, it's, cool. it's called lazy. What what, do you, what can you do? A handful of people in chat are excited, <laughs> like three of them. The usual suspects, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just about. I'm glad that Zimmy was able to get free from prison jail there. Let me refresh his stream to see if we can catch it up a little bit. I think chaos is almost at the boss. Yes, uh, chaos figured out the order of how to go on these tops of these caveman house and he's yeah right about to face the boss oh and zembar's there too so they're both gonna face not fred flintstone it's not fred flintstone it's okay. just caveman so not There's fred flintstone yeah, yeah zembar entering the fight right now as well oh that's that's bad he picked, uh, chaos picked up the hammer which is much much worse weapon to have on this fight compared to the rock yeah the rocks appear to be where it's at, you know, just throw all these rocks at Fred, not Fred, and... There you go, that's a... Yep. Moon Good job, free. dude! Wow, Chaos! You freed Moon Unit! And Zenbar freed both, Moon Unit as well, it. so good job. It's like right. Chaos is in control. Yep. And moves on to good. England. Princess Cuffy has kidnapped Persephone! Goddess of Sunshine, so Cuffy can work on her tan. Very good. Oh, good. What's kind of funny about that little time that Chaos took to read that, Zembar just skipped it. Honestly, I would probably read all the dialogue just to figure out, like, because there could be hints. <laughs> if if only know. there were hints. <laughs> but there aren't. Yeah. No, it's just garbage. <laughs> it's just uh, garbage, thank you. So Zembar's, Zembar's throwing pies. Uh, and Chaos appears to have a rubber chicken, or maybe it's a real chicken. I think I it's a giraffe. It's rubber. It's a, it's a rubber chicken, I believe. It just uh, the hammer changes depending on the level. Like I'm uh, looking. Okay. I'm looking at this. The... That definitely <laughs> looks like a giraffe. Oh my gosh. Like <laughs> when he holds the weapon out, it's it's choking the chicken. <laughs> no. Oh hey. Hey. Like, uh, Zembar flew through the Hello. level, literally. <laughs> Don't. Zembar uh, flipped through and managed to fall out of the level. Oops. No! Yeah, the beginning of the level just is a hard dash jump that's really, really annoying. <laughs> Zembar got it right there. Oh my gosh. It's like, yeah, you made it through level one. We'll just start you with the trickiest maneuver in the game, just right off the get, right from the get-go. Yeah, it's definitely a chicken. I like the pies better. The pies are essentially the rocks, right? Pretty much. Yeah, it seems They're like all it. pretty much the same weapon. You'll get there's another additional one in space, but pretty much they all just act as projectiles. Ah. You have the hammer, then you have your projectile weapon, and you always want to have the whatever projectile weapon is. That makes sense. I mean, the hammer seems like it doesn't deal additional damage, and the projectile is fast and it's ranged, and it just seems fantastic. It's spammable, which um, you don't get. With the melee weapons, you don't get uh, much of a, you know, many attacks in a row. Oh, Whereas yeah. with the pies or with the rocks, you can... That's what, that's what Chaos and Zembar were doing. Uh, as soon as they got the rocks in prehistoric times, they were just spamming it. And as you can see, they're both spamming pies uh, pretty constantly here. Which I guess is the winning strategy for Bad. making it through safely. Bad Chop, thank you for those bits. Uh, yeah, it, just as a quick recap, it looks like Chaos and Zembar are pretty close to each other right now in the match. Zimmy and more spiders than I expected still trying to pass the first stage. Let's see if they can figure out this catapult. It's kind of a stupid what you have to do. Get a blue. blue. Uh, yeah, you just have to press up. That's it. Huh. Zembar's but leaving. But they make you He's press like, up. Yeah. Never mind. Well, that's a control I didn't know about or tell them about, so, uh... That's oh well. cool. <laughs> and Zembar is just going all the way back to the beginning, because they probably think that, uh, 
you know, like the first level when you had to get a clue, you had to escort somebody to the mama dinosaur. But this one, no, you just have to press up. So I thought instead of backtracking a bit, I should backtrack as much as possible. Dang, see if, well. Yeah, let's see if you missed something. The I second area of the castle is a pretty vertical stage. There's a lot of uh, pits that you have to avoid later on, which uh, can be pretty easy to, to get hit and knocked back into, like pretty much every pit in this game. You said it's a vertical stage, so if you fall down the pits, it send you to an earlier spot in the level, or does it just kill you? It, it can, okay. or it can just kill you, depending on where you stand. I like the chandelier on Chaos's screen. I don't know if those will come in handy. Hey, uh, Zenbar figured out the uh, catapult. Good stuff. Uh, the uh, next area. Nice. It's good. I, I feel like it's going to be a pretty pitched race between these guys. Chaos made a pretty quick ascent. It looks like they're uh, pretty yeah, high there's... up on this thing. Yeah, but it's just bouncing off pigs to try to get as high as possible. Classic pig bouncing action. Good, good. Zimmy and Spiders, they're still having a little bit of a hard time. I don't... I feel like Zimmy... Yeah, Zimmy had a full game over fairly recently, so uh, they're just working to get back into this. Uh, Zimmy, I believe... It, or, no, more Spiders, I believe, is getting fairly close to the end. Yep, I think there are a couple more apartment sections, and then more spiders will be at uh, Fred Flintstone. Who wins, spiders or Flintstones? <laughs> say the spiders, the spiders, because they're still around. Yeah, I, I see Flintstones reruns every once in a while, so I don't know. Could go either way. I see it seems like spiders oh. reruns like all the time in my corners, you know, gotta pull that broom out, whack. Oh, yuck. Yeah. I love I love these axe dudes. This is oh, incredible. They're so they're, annoying. They're very frantic, and they have what looks like a tattoo on their arm, uh, and they're just waving that axe all around. And, and they can eat. Oh, what happens? You just get knocked back very easily if you take a hit. And there are sharks in the moat, which probably doesn't matter, but uh, does make it a little more threatening. Now I see a swinging chain, which leads me to believe we're going to see some uh, Castlevania four action. Yeah, you can chain swing in them. this game. Yeah. Spiders is currently fighting Fred Flintstone. It's just hopping Good around. Stuff. Pretty low on health, though. Oh. oh, and that's a death. It was not enough. Oh, and that's a full oh, game. Oh, oh no! no. Oops. Oh, they know what to do next time. Not die. <laughs> Wonder how many uh, continues Chaos has left. Oh, no. And the misjump into the moat. Oh, if we keep seeing jumps like that, then we're going to know exactly how many continues. Yep, it's zero. Everyone is back to prehistoric land. They were both very close. I'm not sure exactly who got farther. I think Chaos got one or two more jumps further in that section, but huh. they're very even. Yeah, we'd have to check the VOD for sure. Um, I think they can make it back. They, they are, are going to get back there. It for, just for sure. happened. Uh, because everything appears paused on my end. I've got four running streams, but it does look very paused looking at your stream. <laughs> uh, let me refresh all of these and see what's going on. For anyone who's watching these freeze frames, let me just say that they are still playing Normie's Beach Babo Rama. I hear music. What is going on? Just a second. I'm switching. Bam, bam. Maybe that'll help. What if I go like this and then switch over here, chill for a second, uh -oh. over here, are we good? N nothing's... Oh. Okay, it's back. Okay, good. Everybody had a game over, huh? <laughs> yeah, everyone game over to uh, roughly within a couple of minutes of each other. Uh, so now everyone's back to prehistoric land. Uh, Chaos gets a... They have to use a continue, but instead they opt to just exit so that they have a full complement of continues uh, continuing. I yeah, guess. that's fair enough. Yeah, it's the yeah. that's a good strategy at this point in the game. If you're still on the first screen, there's no there's no point burning uh, continue. You might as well just game over. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. And there's some spots where it's probably better if the runners would take a 
tactical death to fill back up their health bar, but that's they knew the next section was pretty difficult because your health doesn't refill, so at the start of the level, if you die and just fill it back, you'll have a better chance of reaching the next checkpoint. We'll Simi's on a that. pretty tricky part right here. You want to... Oh, never mind, they just got it, so... I spent a lot of time failing on that in my defense. Oh, jeez, he's punching the dinosaurs' noses? What did they ever do to deserve this? Like, it's... It's a pretty rude game. Yeah. You kind of just have to be a jerk, but Normie kind of looks like a jerk, so it's expected. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk. I mean, he, he has that, like, gleeful look in him, like, when he hits something with his hammer, too. That evil oh, he, smile. Yeah, the, the teeth come out. No question. As he jumps over these prehistoric dominoes. Quite a game. Oh, jeez. Chaos at the water, and that is the bit break killer. <laughs> I love it. Shades of Bubble Man. Yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while, Normie will yell something unhelpful, like, jump, right after you've fallen in a pit. Or right before you're about to fall in a pit, but, like, too late for you to actually do anything about it. Or he'll shout, bummer, when some obstacle is in front of him. So this game, uh, it tries to give you hints. They're just not, you know, any sort of actionable hints. I mean, that sounds about right. Yeah, it is a it is a Kuso game, so that's, I guess, par for the course. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to look into uh, why the streams are being weird, because I pulled up Zimmy in a different... Uh, a different screen, and it is running super smooth, so for some reason... With the setup that I have right now, it's not, and I'm not sure why. So, uh, just so everybody knows, for your reference, I will be looking into this issue to see if I can make it smoother. We care about your satisfaction. Is yeah, you gotta have the... the big 3D run? next, so the bad frame rate won't show through? <laughs> yeah, you gotta have the best experience, okay, when it comes to normies. Bro, your stream's only running at 10 frames per second. It's like, no, that's that's just Bubsy 3D. <laughs> that's just how it normally does. I'm not looking forward to that. That game... That game will make you sick, even if you're not playing it. I just remember, I watched some of the versus multiplayer at one of the GDQs, and it, it just... It's just not good. And there's nothing redeemable about it. No. They're like, we, you... They could make a 3D game. They shouldn't have, but they did anyway. Your scientists were so concerned, etc., etc. Okay. Zimmy getting some good dashes here. Got yeah, Zimmy and Zembar both on the, the volcano platforms, uh, so we might be seeing some progress from the both of them. Zimmy, of course, the uh, the only competitor here who has not so much as uh, squared off against Fred Flintstone. Well, Fred's a jerk, you know. Don't even yeah. don't even bother with him, okay? Like in the cartoons, he almost never threw rocks at people, much less exploding rocks. Uh, but in this game, he does it all the time. Huh? More spiders, also on the volcanic platforms. It looks like Cass is having a bit of trouble uh, getting back to their previous position. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. Yeah, first... Uh, is Chaos's screen flashing for you guys as well? Everything no. looks total... Whoa! Essential, what are you doing? I no, don't know! I don't know what this is! No, it looks fine on my side. Um, boy, howdy. Okay, so obviously there's a problem on my end. Yeah, a little bit. Um, uh, ch maybe check your OBS source. It looks like you're switching really fast in between Chaos's stream and uh, someone else's, maybe? No, maybe not. Now oh my gosh. It. Now more spiders has gone totally off of your stream. Yeah, it might be 
that the sources are both more spiders and chaos in one window. Yeah, I'm gonna minimize your stream too, sweet. So everyone else can just let me know when it's a little bit easier to look at. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's switching do. between chaos and more spiders. Yeah. What the crap? That's not. True. How do you do this? Uh, by the way, I use XSplit. XSplit, what the crap? Oh. No, I. I have more spiders than I expected window on the bottom right, and it's just chaos is at the top right, and I don't know. I'll do a little bit of commentary then so you guys can see Zembar. Zembar just beat uh, Fred Flintstone, but for the two people who were rapidly switching in between, um, more spiders is going up the apartment buildings, and chaos is still bouncing around on the Stonehenge dominoes. Uh, so neither are currently dying. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying. The the race must go on. Race must go on. Uh, Zembar's in the medieval land, and he just had a really interesting sort of death, which none of you get to see. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry! Oh my gosh. Okay, so... Uh, you know... Xplit just had a stability up update, and maybe I shouldn't have done it. Stability update. <laughs> So, maybe I'll go offline between matches uh, in order to do oh, that because. That bump by uh, Chaos right there. That just shows you why it's so dangerous to dash. Why is. Why is Normie appearing at the top of this. I don't know. I don't know.